Jared Bagger here coming to you live from the north. More specifically today we are in Detroit, Michigan. Now I've been on the road, I've been on the road for about three and a half weeks, which is, uh, it's been intense. But uh, this trip, this road trip, we've done a lot of interesting festivals, interesting events. Started out day one, we were at the, um, the two-headed T-Rex unveiling at Pex Joe's American Dime Museum. Saw one of the most amazing sideshow shows of my life. And then from there, we traveled overnight, no sleeping, no sleep till Frogman. Went to the Frogman Festival in Loveland, Ohio. A celebration of the beloved cryptid, the half man, half frog creature that lives in Loveland, Ohio. Now from there we traveled to St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri for one of my favorite events of the year, Trans World, the Halloween and attraction show. The, it's a trade show for haunted houses. I spent several days there enjoying the spooky festivities. And from there we traveled to Colorado, to Estes Park, Colorado for the Frozen Dead Guy Days, a celebration of a man that was frozen for decades in a plastic shed. From there, traveled east to Detroit, which brings us to today. Today is the March de la Naine Rouge, a celebration of a demon, a demon here in Detroit. The Nain Rouge, a, a legend that dates back hundreds of years to the very founding of Detroit. The founder of Detroit, Anton DeMoth Cadillac, the man that the car, the Cadillac, is named after. Of course, Detroit, the motor city, where many cars are built and created. Anton Delamoth Cadillac founded the city of Detroit. And when he founded the city, he consulted, consulted with a fortune teller. And the fortune teller had warned him. Apparently he had dreams. The reason he went to the fortune teller was he had dreams of a strange red demon. The Nain Rouge. The fortune teller told him that the Nain Rouge, a sign of bad things, a sign of misfortune. And she told him that he must be kind, he must be polite to the Nain Rouge because that is the only way to win favor with the Nain Rouge is to be polite and to flatter him. But Anton Damoth Cadillac, he did not like tiny demons. And he came across the Nain Rouge and Instead of complimenting him, instead of saying something nice, he took his walking stick and he cracked the demon in the face, inadvertently cursing Detroit for decades to come. It is said that the Nain Rouge appears connected to any misfortune that occurs in Detroit. It seemed that he was seen dancing across battlefields, prancing amongst the dead bodies. He was seen before the Detroit fire. And of course, Detroit, a great city, but also a city that has had many a misfortune over the years. Some economic disparity, the, you know, the, the partial collapse of the auto industry in Detroit. Detroit has seen some rough times. I think Detroit is definitely on the upswing right now, but uh, the Nain Rouge has, uh, has managed to pull some misfortune into the city of Detroit. But that leads us to today, because every year, they have the March de Laine Rouge, where the revelers here in Detroit, the people of Detroit, take to the street to drive the Nain Rouge out of the city, to push the misfortune out of Detroit. And that is why we are here today in Detroit. So I parked my car in this quiet area. It's near a university. I think it is Wayne University. I could be wrong about that. But uh, I'm looking for the festivities. And so I'm going to uh, meet at a intersection. The parade meets in one spot and then the parade parades away 
from that spot. So uh, let's go hunt down the Nain Rouge. Please, follow me. Okay, I think this might be. <laughs> she wanted to meet you so bad. We love your oh, thank you. So I appreciate it. <laughs> okay, it looks like this is where people are congregating right over here by Third Man Records, Jack White's uh, recording studio. I guess we could pop in here really quick before the parade. There's a Third Man Records in Nashville, but also one here in Detroit. Yeah, I was a huge fan of the uh, White Stripes back in the day. And I went to the Third Man record shop in uh, Nashville, and actually Jack White just, just walked in. It, it blew my mind. He just walked in, he shouted, everybody get out. Then everyone turned and looked at him, and then he said, just kidding, and walked to the back. Yeah, over the jukebox here, they have a animatronic band. They said it is currently not operational, but we can take a little peek there behind the curtain. Normally, when this one's operating, that uh, that you put a quarter or put a token in the jukebox, and uh, they will fire up and start playing. Oh, look at that! Yeah, some fun old machines in here. This is a Scopatone. They used to have a mold matic or they call it the wax o um, I asked about it, they said it's in the shop. It's not here right now. They said they're in the process of fixing it. A little boy, a girl there from the song, I can tell that we are going to be friends. And in the back here, apparently they have a, a record making, I don't know, record making factory in the back? Yeah, I guess they're currently not making any records. But yeah, I can see back here is where all the uh, vinyl records are made that are uh, produced by Third Man Records. See some White Stripes merchandise there. There's a Lego set from uh, Fell in Love, Fell in Love with a Girl. Some uh, White Stripes, White Stripes uh, snow globes there. Okay, I guess, yeah, that's an actual rec the record store. There is the, uh, the Moldomatic there, the guitar. I do have it. I do have the guitar. I also have, they had a, like a van as well that I have. So as bummed as I am that it's not here, I do actually have all the molds already. Yes. And there is some Funkos of the White Stripes. They're dressed like they were in the co cover of the album Elephant. Elephant. I, yeah, I remember all that. I haven't, I haven't listened to them in a long time, but I, I remember everything. And like I said, these little Funko sweaters. Yeah, here is, uh, we're going to be friends. See the little kids there. And it looks like this picture book is just, yeah, it's just basically, it's the song converted into a children's book. Now I remember the White Stripes, yeah, they had a red, white, and black motif. Looks like the record store here has adopted a black and yellow motif. Here's the third man mascot. I guess his name is Manny, because he's a man. It's like a little little dancing robot. I'm trying to remember if I have one of these. I think, I don't know, I, remember, I can't remember if I bought one of these last time I was at the uh, Nashville location or not. I wonder whose motorcycle it is. Does this motorcycle belong to, uh, to you guys? Actually sell some record players here. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at this, maybe this could help uh, stave off the Nain Rouge. Music is sacred. But as fun as all this is, we gotta just see what's happening outside. Yeah. Got arcade tokens? Yeah, there you go. For the, where is this at? The uh, We're off 666 Selden Street. It's the, the Barcade? Yep. Awesome, thank you. Some shiny tokens. Over here we have the official merch booth of the March de Nain Rouge. Oh my gosh, look at this. Got the so Nain Rouge bobblehead there, as well as this super cool mask. Oh my gosh, I may need to get some of this. Alright, you got Nain Rouge for emergency manager there. And uh, looks like he's dressed uh, like 
Napoleon there. I guess he's a short, he's a short uh, person. Nain Rouge actually translates to Red Dwarf, so maybe he's got a little Napoleonic complex. Got the official t-shirt here. It's a little bit windy, but uh, yeah, there's the Nain Rouge. Oh, oh, sleeping on, okay, the wind is not cooperating. Yes, the Nain Rouge is, oh my gosh. All right. The Nain Rouge <laughs> of that statue there. Not sure which statue that is. If you know what statue that is, leave a comment in the comment section. Got some more fun shirts over here. All right, you see the crowd congregating here. We got some bees. It says workers of Detroit unite. You have nothing to lose but your names. Skullhead. Skullhead, how's it going? Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Easter Bunny, Easter Bunny, what, what are you doing here? Oh, kicking out, kicking out the devil? That's a good job, Easter Bunny. Oh yeah, you never, you never know where you might pop up. Look at him here, hiding behind, hiding behind this bush. All right, kind of working our way through the crowd here. Is that the, uh, is that Antoine, Antoine de la? Cadillac there. For sure I said that wrong. De La Moth Cadillac. Oh, I love your hair. It's wonderful. Got a disco ball there on the very top. Amazing. Oh, it looks like the parade you know, lining up over here. And look at this car. This is this is pretty cool right here. It's like some sort of like Mad Max post-apocalyptic car. It looks like he made this car out of scraps he found sitting in front of people's houses on trash day. Yeah, we'll take a little preview here of the parade as they are starting to line up here. This is this right here. Oh, this is from, uh, that is not the Nain Rouge, that is the mascot of Fireball. Oh, that brings back, that brings back some nightmares. The bees congregating here, a little bee dog. Star Wars to you. Star Wars, yeah, I think some sort of Star Wars-like vehicle here, I didn't know there was gonna be like these amazing vehicles here. I don't know, is this, yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely Star Wars right there. Little train here. Oh, there's that Easter Bunny again. Look at this thing. What is it? Look at this, what is this? Yeah, I didn't know there was gonna be these, uh, these cool cars here. I don't know what they, even that, that's supposed to be. I like guess another car kind of put together, like a, a home, like you build your own car at home type deal. Oh, I love this. This is a, uh, this is a, it's a raccoon, a little rac drival raccoon. I, I can't wait to see these in action, actually carousing down the street. Okay, got some Ghostbusters over here. That movie just came out. I've not had a chance to see the new movie yet. He has my oh, yeah. It's the marsh marshmallow man. Oh, it's the fiend. Rest in pre rest in peace, Bray Wyatt. And look at this. I think this may be the the uh, Nain Rouge himself here. Oh my goodness. Oh no. He's doing his little doing a little dance there. There you go. All right, we are making our way up towards the stage here, they have some performances occurring. Some really amazing performances here. Wow. Wait a minute. There appears to be some sort of, some sort of stabbing event occurring on stage. Giving out some tips. This guy in the front row has a severed leg. Oh, look at this, it's Root Bear. Root Bear, are you enjoying the show? The mascot for uh, A&W Root Beer.
Could you be mine? Could you be mine? Could you be mine? Begin to imagine your feet as roots extending down into the earth. And if you have trouble visualizing, maybe you just wiggle your toes and feel that energy projecting down into the ground below. I was so grateful for it. It could be your health, your home, new opportunities that are coming up this year. Let us whisper thank you to each of these links. Bring to mind four specific things you are grateful for. These guys are from France. So you have a cake? You have a cake on your head? Yeah, I do. It's my birthday suit. It's your birthday suit? Yep. You got forks for, for eating the cake? I do. Can, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I have a bite? All right. All right, so like this, and then you just grab a, grab a piece of cake there. Oh, there we go. All right, I've never eaten cake off of a man's head before. There's a first for everything. So here's your fork back. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for the cake on your head. It's delicious. Yeah, things are starting to get pretty dense around here. The crowd is really filling in. It's like a big boy just parked here, painted blue with a lion for a face, and then there's some sort of tiger. Now, oh, these are sports teams, aren't they? Brandon, these are yes, they are sports teams. <laughs> so this is the Detroit Tigers. They play. That would be baseball. Fo a baseball, yes. and then the Lions. They play. That would be um, uh, ice fishing. Football, football, right? Awesome. Big boys all dressed up in his uh, Lions. Are the Lions a really good team? This year, yes they are, but for the last 110 years, no. <laughs> we have an anti-Cadillac contingent here. So apparently the stage is actually the back of a truck here. This is, I guess, the start of the parade. We saw the streets filling up. I think they're going to be moving here in just a moment. Uh oh, there, there is an occurrence. Oh, look at that. A cool dancing dragon. to the Super Bowl. Here we have a interpretive dance set to the Little Shop of Horrors theme. There it is, the Nain Rouge. Play into the crowd like a real heel. Yeah, he's doing some pretty funky dancing here. Detroit. Welcome to the March to Main Rouge. I am here. Ha <laughs> ha! It's a cheer in every way this year. Am I dreaming? All those years I spent hunting the straits, now I am here, stunning in my perfection. Thank you all so much for gathering to worship me. I'm your best friend. I'm here for you, Detroit. Wait, wait. So apparently this is the AI Nain Rouge hey here. You. Oh man, you almost look as good as me, me.
things my way. Oh, we won't do things at all. That's pretty fun. Okay, so the stage is actually three trucks. They're tearing it down, getting ready to uh, start the parade, unplugging the amps, getting everything packed up. The march. De La Nain Rouge has officially begun. There's not a lot of room for error right there. The barrier of trucks here starting the parade. Oh, there's the Nain Rouge. Nain Rouge! Oh, don't give me the thumbs down. Thumbs down to you. You no good demon. Boo! Oh my goodness. We have people jumping into the parade. Oh, look at this guy here. Look at that. The elephant skull, I think. Yeah, look at this. Just the mass of humanity moving down the street here. Oh, look at this. So the beards are coming. Hey, Pigman, how's it going? Oh, look at the eyeball creature! The beards are here. What are you talking about? They're not coming. Oh yeah, they're here. Oh, I see the cake head guy. I ate. I ate some of that cake. Oh, we found Waldo there. The car. Car driving there in the center. Yeah, this is so dense. We work our way down to enjoy the parade. Oh, someone just threw something. I think it was something. I think it was a positive throw, not a negative throw. See some spring flowers poking up from the parade there. Woo! Woo! Oh, thank you, Oompa Loompa. Okay, I got some demons over here. What do you call a group of demons? You got here, you got a possum and a groundhog, I think. A what? Muskrat, okay, possibly a muskrat. Now let's see some of uh, some of these awesome vehicles in motion. Yeah, look at that. So cool. So cool. There's that guy with the guy with the uh, fake leg there. Oh, it's handing out. Oh, deranged haunt there. Must be some sort of Halloween haunt there. All right, maybe I'll check that out. Come, come haunt season there. Deranged haunt. Little devil up there. Oh, some wacky, wacky waving inflatable tube men. <laughs> Steel drums. Steel drums over here. Oh my gosh. There's the fireball, the fireball mobile. Like a fireball rickshaw. That was some little sips of fireball there. <laughs> hey look, bees! Here come the bees. No, no, not the bees. Not the bees. There's bee dog. Hey bee dog. Hey little bee dog. What was it? Hey bee dog smells something. Hey there! Uh, Robert M. Nelson presents Detroit's own Robert M. Nelson. Who's Robert M. Nelson? Is that Robert? 
Are you Robert F. Nelson? Hello. Is that a pork pie hat? Because I would love for you to pork pie me. Oh wow. Oh. <laughs> I like I, I like your hat as well. Hi. Hello. Not that <laughs> oh, oh, we got buttons. You want a button or a sticker? Uh, a button. There you go. All right. Can you hold it? Oh, there's a parade going on around me. <laughs> oh, this is a lot of fun. Oh, no! There he goes! <laughs> Nate Rose! Oh, my God! He almost went over, he almost went right over top of me! Oh, my gosh! This is madness! Toot, toot! Here comes the train! Oh wow. Some musicians here shredding their guitars. Yeah, look at this. That is so cool. Oh, look at some Star Wars Junker inspired. Oh yeah, it's got the Stormtrooper helmets up there. That is super fun. Another one of these space creatures. Oh, don't shoot me! Oh, look who I, look who I see up here. I, I see someone. It's Frank the Rabbit! Frank! Frank the Bunny! Frank! How are you doing? Donnie Darko. Oh, look at this, another vehicle here. That's so cool. Oh yeah, I like this. Little sun drop, sun drop vehicle. Yeah, so many fun cars. Hello there. Oh, I really love, I really love the raccoon mobile there. There's the, the big, big headed Nade Rouge. Oh yeah, I love, love that. Behind the raccoon, you got some shopping carts. Shopping carts there. Oh, here come the Ghostbusters. Hello. Oh, look at this clown here. Oh, yeah, there's a Ghostbusters and a ghost. Oh, is that Zool? Is that Zool over there? No, oh, Zool, don't kill me. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at this. Got the Ghostbusters blasting foam, blasting foam into the crowd. Oh, look at that. Blast me, blast, blast me over here. Let me see. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, getting over everyone and everything. Oh my goodness. Let Nane eat cake. Interesting. There's cake, where's the cake? There's cake? Dance, okay, it's a dance the, dance the Nane away. Is that Anton Delmoth Cadillac there in the... The name should be there, not you. It is his fault. All right. Oh, it's the guillotine. They got the little guillotine made of cake. All right, the MSA awareness shoe. Ends up the parade. Oh, there is an ambulance back here in case any mishaps occur along the parade route. Oh, there he is again. There he is again. I think he wants a clear shot. Give him the room. Oh, look, he's giving hugs. He's making out with that lady right there. That was rude. Rouge is just a mean, mean demon. Okay, so apparently the parade is all heading down to meet up at the Masonic Lodge. And so everyone, I guess, is at some point supposed to jump into the parade and follow the parade the rest of the way back. So I kind of walked through the middle of the parade and uh, now I've hopped in the parade. We're heading over to the Masonic Lodge. 
there's the cake float and the guillotine. Oh, is, he actually, is there actually, there actually is real cake. Let me cake. Oh, and, uh, this one right there. Oh, and, and a doubloon, oh, 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 a doubloon there. I got a doubloon. I don't really don't eat a lot of cake. I try to avoid cake these days, but I've already eaten cake off a guy's head. And now I'm eating some more cake that was given to me by a stranger. That's a really good cake. As we follow the parade here, you can uh, see people on their porches enjoying the parade. We're actually behind the Ghostbusters here, so we keep getting blasted with foam from behind. Oh, look at that. Hey there! Hey there, little... Na oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. It's attacking children. All right. like the parade has met its end here. Oh wow, so this is the Masonic Temple here. It's absolutely massive. It's like a skyscraper temple here. The band playing in front. Got the Nain Rouge banner out in front. wherein the fundamental flaw is ultimately expressed and the anomaly revealed as both the beginning and the end. You have a choice. You can accept the truth of what I am saying and join me now in an orderly fashion. Once again, foiled the threat posed by the main lead. The little red demon, the straits, living happily ever after. Or at least until next year. Oh no. Singing a parody of I'm Just Ken. Well, I'm Just Nane. been dispelled from Detroit and people scatter out in the city to continue celebrating.
There's people lining up here to get in to the Masonic Lodge. Apparently the after party occurs in the lodge. Okay. So apparently the reason the line is so long is because you have to go in through these dangerous spinning doors. Oh, that looks frightening. All right, we're gonna have to pick our spot and take it here. All right. Let's see. Oh, we'll hop in. Oh my, oh my gosh. That was fast. Oh, we made it. All right, in the ballroom of the Masonic Temple here. See everyone, most people are in line to get a drink, it looks like. Here we go. Look at that men's bathroom in here. It's actually a, a barber shop in the men's bathroom. And look at this, a place to get your shoes shined as well. All right, these doors are seriously terrifying. Let's see if we can time this right. Oh, actually, okay, slow down there because it emptied out for a second. There we go. So thank you for joining me here today at the March de Nain Rouge, a festival, a yearly festival to cast out the evil demon that uh, curses Detroit. This year they, I guess they have a different theme every year. This year they had a AI, an AI Nain Rouge that they cast out of, uh, of the city. But I love this, so much fun, so many cool costumes and love the celebrations of local legends, local cultures. If anyone knows of any other interesting local celebrations, celebrations of local culture, celebrations of local cryptids, such as the Nain Rouge, leave a comment in the comment section. It was absolutely a blast to come out for this very special celebration. Now, if you like this channel, please subscribe. I travel around the country, I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, Strange and unusual festivals, apparently. Oh, there's the, goes, there's, there goes the train. <laughs> if I'd like to help support the channel in other ways, consider contributing to Patreon. $3 more, get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop and doing personalized messages on Cameo. All that goes to help keep that train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag. Oh yeah, I just want to do a little segment here. At the end, maybe we'll call this merch roundup or souvenir roundup. But I've been trying to buy more souvenirs because uh, I have more room now. And I did purchase Manny the Man from uh, Third Man Records, their mascot. We got, oh, oh. Maybe need a more stable surface, but get an idea there of his, his fun little dance that he does. There we go. In addition, I purchased the Nain Rouge mask. Both me and Jen uh, love the old Halloween mask. Start kind of starting a collection of masks. I so say it's only fitting to uh, make the Nain Rouge part of our collection. And of course, the mask wasn't enough, so I did go ahead and purchase the bobblehead. I have a small uh, growing bobblehead collection, and I thought he was a perfect addition. See, so yeah, I'm kind of turning my home into a museum of souvenirs.